Cyborg can win this fight, it sets up a possible matchup with this woman, Gina Carano, in what could be one of the biggest fights of the year. Hey, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Cyborg Akano, three three-minute rounds. Akano, the judo specialist, says she wants to work on Cyborg's balance. She doesn't feel that she has balance. Cyborg wasting no time using her size and just throwing around the diminutive Akano. Japanese fighters that are outmatched generally will go for flea flicker type techniques. Crazy moves, they'll jump upside down and go for leg locks. Oh, what a takedown by Cyborg. Modified German suplex immediately in the cross side position. Akano already going for the arm bar. And she just missed it, slipped out of her hands. Now she pulls her in the guard. Akano feels comfortable that she can work Cyborg on the ground as well with her judo and wrestling skills. Let's work, let's work. And Cyborg's obviously feeling pretty confident everywhere, otherwise she wouldn't have taken her down. They have one common opponent in BJJ specialist Vanessa Porto. Akano lost via split decision to Porto. Cyborg won a unanimous decision. Cyborg, a purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, using her strength to push down Akano. Now she starts with her ground and pound. She has a very physical in-your-face style of fighting. And Akano, being a Japanese fighter, they're always analytical fighters. Very tricky. Cyborg standing up. And ground and pound again. This is tough here. Akano with the up kick to back her up. And she remains calm and cool as she gets to her feet. Cyborg has already landed 13 of 22 strikes. Akano only 2 of 4. They spent one minute on the mat, on the mat here in round one. Cyborg stocking. Akano needs to stay outside that lead leg. I think she she definitely doesn't want to be standing up and throwing kicks and eating punches like that. Triple right hand by Cyborg again. A takedown. And this is where the size and power is. It's to Cyborg's advantage. Just throwing her around like a rag doll. Cyborg coming in seven pounds heavy. It's the weight heavy. 145 pounds. So she probably, as you mentioned, maybe 160 right now. At least, I would guess. And, and the size difference is so much here where you, you almost have to root for Akano because she's the underdog. Okano was the defunct Smack Girl promotion in Japan's 128-pound champion, moving up for this very tough test. Okano trying to make it out of the first round. 26 seconds remaining. the time in the world to rest i've said it once i'll say it again i wish the women would fight five minute rounds like the guys they deserve it absolutely they're great athletes they should be fighting five minute rounds slip by cyborg low kick front kick by akano nothing big left hook by cyborg and she also lands a looping right hand as the round ends and akano is tired and spent and in trouble Here's Akano trying to tie her up, trying to stay in there, go for a judo throw. Cyborg simply used her power to throw her. Here she is sizing her up, wanting to throw the strikes. Big kick, flurries. She's just, she's so fast and punches like any man that's a great fighter. Uh, here's Akano tying up the arm, wanting to hit a judo throw. Suplex here fight by Cyborg. I tell you what, that takes a lot of power to hit that technique. And that's taking a page out of Akano's quarterman's playbook, Josh Barnett, one of the top heavyweights. Here she is hitting it again, just not quite as big a technique. She knows she can physically dump her like that, and I think she's taking advantage of it. Of course, Josh Barnett, a huge superstar in Japan, a top heavyweight fighter in mixed martial arts. Round two scheduled for three. Three minute rounds. Chris Cyborg Santos in the black trunks. Hitomi Akano of Japan in the white trunks. And we've already seen that Bushido spirit on display by Akano, the way of the warrior. The feeling out process is obviously done for Cyborg. She's stalking right now. Cyborg kicking to the head so strong. Now she goes down low. 
Nice double leg attempt by Econo. Just not strong enough to hold on. Underhook got muscled off. And it really is a case of deja vu all over again. The last time we saw Cyborg against a Japanese fighter, Takahashi. Takahashi was very, very courageous in battle. But Cyborg, would you like to see more of a killer instinct from the Brazilian fighter? You know, I think she's just fighting smart. She's just stalking her, hitting her with heavy shots and wearing her out. But because of her weight, similar situation against Takahashi. As the fight went on, she got tired. And that is something that I'm sure Gina Carano, who will be the same size as Cyborg if they face each other, is paying attention to right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Point, Gus. And now she's just teeing off on the Japanese fighter along the fence. Kano doing a very wise thing, trying to stay away, trying to pick a shot, trying to find, as the Grateful Dead would say, a miracle. Here she is tying her up, trying to hit a throw again. Let's see if she can pull something off. Here's big it. knee, big knee. That takes a lot out of Akano there, as she backs up and takes a blow. Tries to keep her away. With Look at the jumping hand. arm bar attempt that was beautiful. Just couldn't hold on. And that's the type of spirit endemic to the Japanese fighters. They will take those risks. And that's why Cyborg's been being somewhat careful in her attack and not getting carried away. High she knows guard. Japanese fighters. High guard by Akano trying to break Cyborg's posture, but look how strong she is. Yeah, it looked like Akano was trying to take a page out of Ruman Asato's playbook with that flying armbar. Absolutely. It was, uh, if she would have pulled that off, holy cow. A minute left in the round. Hatomi Akano holding on. What do you do down here if you're Akano? You've got to tie her up. I mean, you can't take that abuse. You can hear Cyborg growling when she punches. I tell you what, she's hitting hard. And Akano doesn't look that much worse for the wear. Hammer fist. Cyborg by Cyborg. Really stacking her up along the fence, using it to her advantage.